Hello, everybody, and welcome to I Want a Mini Bike. Or should I say, welcome to that one person that's actually watching this series. You know who you are. I have no idea who you are because Google Analytics doesn't work that way, but you know who you are. Uh, you'll notice that it is day seven and not day six. And there's a reason for that. I decided that I'm going to, or I was going to skip a day from recording anyways, so I could gather up some resources. So I did. That little gore pile was a uh, dog incident. Broke down my door, broke down my porch. So many ways to get into the porch. It decided to destroy my porch. I don't get it. But uh, yeah, it decided to come in and, uh, well, try to kill me. So I killed it. Hmm. Yes. Um, losing my train of thought already. Holy crap, that was fast. Hmm. Anyways, today is a big day, and that is because... Oh, what the hell am I doing? I don't need that. I need a door. I don't need a chest. I have plenty of chests so far. Uh, today is a big day because it is day seven. It is the blood moon. So this is a big day for us. Big important day. One that uh, must be properly prepared for. At some point in time. Do I have my repair tool anywhere around here? I organized all of my chests. Well, not really, but I organized some of my chests. Oh, I need wood planks. But that's part of what I did yesterday was, you know, just gather up a bunch of logs. I did, or I got iron. Not a lot, but uh, 10 iron ingots is pretty impressive. So I'm pretty happy there. Does that go there? Or did, no, this came from over here. Okay. Yeah. Did a little exploring. Went for a little bit of resources, that kind of thing. So, uh, today is going to be spent preparing for tonight. And tonight is going to be a big night because it is the seventh day mob. Er, uh, horde. Yeah, that's the word. Horde. Mob, horde, same thing, depending on context. Um, and how do we prepare for the seventh day horde? Well, oddly enough, we kind of don't. I have plans for tonight. Uh, it's going to be a long episode, obviously, because it's the seventh day. And uh, I only record when, or I only stop recording when nothing's happening. So I record during the day, I stop at night when I'm cowering in a quarter like a chicken. And, uh, yeah. So today, I can't do that because I have to run from zombies. The seventh day mobs, or seven day horbs, horbs. God damn it. Uh, the seven, seventh day hordes, I'll get there eventually, I swear, uh, work different as far as I can tell, from all of the other hordes. They work... Their detection radius is a lot bigger. Um, they seem to kind of know where you are. And part of it is based on heat. Okay, so this game is based on chunks, like Minecraft's map is based on chunks. Uh, just squares... Now that I think about it, probably about 16 blocks a piece. <laughs> Actually, I wouldn't be surprised. That's a uh, hex thing. So I wouldn't be surprised if a chunk is 16 squares. But, uh, so it's, it's based on squares of squares. And how the seventh day hordes work is based on heat's heat in each chunk, in each area. And you gather heat by, uh, you know, killing zombies, right? That's, you gain heat by killing zombies. I'm for, yeah, I think so. You gain heat by killing zombies, uh, building things, like massive things, and chopping down trees. And I think there's something... Oh, yeah, a uh, fire. So a uh, fire pit, a forge, uh, I should say campfire and a forge, not a fire pit. Same thing, but it's called campfire in this game. 
But uh, use those, you gather up heat, and if you get enough heat, you get a horde. Now, if you'll notice, there are a lot less trees around today, and that's because I cut down a whole shit ton of trees until I broke my axe. Yeah, this is a new axe, and apparently I'm high enough level that I can make poor stuff. Or at least I can start to. Uh, I'm going to have to do a little bit more research to explain how the levels work. Because it's like... The level times 10 plus or minus 50 determines what level of the... Uh, yeah, level times 100 is your base level. And then when you build something, it's plus or minus 50 to determine what level the equipment you made is. And if it's above a certain level, then it's, you know, uh, poor instead of faulty, or good instead of poor, or whatever. I, I forget how it all works out, and I don't remember the numbers off the top of my head, but apparently I'm high enough level to start making or at least having a good chance of getting the poor stuff instead of the faulty stuff. Well, I'll have to continue working on that. Now, what kind of confused me? While I was out... I see a zombie over there. I heard something. I see a couple of zombies. Let's take care of these before we have a horde on our hands. Um, yeah, yesterday, while I was just gathering up resources, mostly screwing around, didn't think he would die from that. I thought he, I sh shot him in the shoulder instead of the, uh, head. Hmm, whatever. Um, yeah, while I was, I'm doing good at this. I'm actually surprising myself enough that, okay, that shouldn't have happened. The crap is going on in this game today. Um, all right, let's try this again. Yesterday, while I was gathering resources, I didn't come across any zombies, except for one bloated zombie and that dog that tried to eat my face overnight. But that that's it. I didn't come across anything else, like nothing else. Wow, he turned into goo fast. Uh, means... Yep, these guys are already there. I heard something. It might have just been the wind. Whatever. Uh, so I'm, I'm always a little concerned when I don't see things. It's like the game is building up. You know, it's like taking a pause, gathering its strength before it comes at me full force, and it's just going to end badly. Ugh, all right, so I have 30 cotton here. I should have more. Oh, look, a zombie walking in my... Is that my front yard or my backyard? Yeah, this will be my front yard. Oop, too high. That was easy. <laughs> One shot in these things today. Huh. This does not bode well. It really does not. I'm usually not this good at the game. Yeah. Bothersome. Hmm. Means tonight's gonna be entertaining. Massive, massive amounts of death. <laughs> I'll probably have to clear out this area. Spend several more deaths. Cleaning it out. Uh, anyways. I guess technically I'm just gathering resources, aren't I? I'm not actually preparing for tonight. I hear you. Where are you? There you are. Okay. The audio seriously does not quite work right today. Hey, look. I didn't one-shot this guy. It's hard to do it with these guys that bob their heads while they walk. It's probably why they put them in the game is so you can't just almost guarantee a headshot. I figured I would see you. Figured there was a crawler around. Are you another one? No, you're the zombie I killed. 
I'm hearing footsteps. Hmm. It might just be my footsteps, but uh, they seemed off timed. All right, so we are at uh, 0800, well, almost 0900 hours. And I'm just making sure that my area is clear. Because I don't want just random zombies being around tonight. I want to kill off as many as possible before I have to worry about tonight. If I'm very, very lucky, I will survive the blood moon. I hope I do. I wonder if I can use this trick. I'm going to try using this trick. The rock trick. I'll... Sh I'll, I'll explain it later. I'll explain it tonight. But, uh, you know, we will see. This means I carry the rocks with me. Oop. Let's see if I remember to actually test this tonight. Uh. So, while I was waiting for night to pass last night, in-game, of course, I noticed that uh, something interesting so far has been happening in this game. And that is my uh, zombie kills are 121, my lives lost are 0, and my total score is 121. Which tells me two things. One, I'm having a hell of a streak of luck by surviving this long. And two, your score is... Your zombie kills minus your deaths, from what I can see. Now, I don't know how that plays into survivor kills. Because when I play multiplayer, I tend not to play PvP. I tend to play just PvE, so co-op kind of thing. And... Uh, so, yeah, I don't know. I might have to pull somebody in just to test that, just to figure that out. Hey, your friend died back there with one shot. Why don't you? Maybe they actually get stronger when they're hunting. Possible, maybe? They're harder to hit when they're hunting. Because they bob back and forth. I swear I heard something over here. I see a deer. Let's go hunt the deer. I did finally cook that bear meat, though. Um, it, Like I said, it made four, which I would have figured would be a problem, but it actually wasn't. Damn it. And I swear I hear something walking over there. Ah, there you are, you bastard. Damn it! Ugh. That is actually quite annoying. Ugh, I always forget to do that. Alright, so sticks, 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 sticks. <laughs> Maybe I should put forth effort into making a new bow. So I don't have to do this. Boop all the time, you know, fixing my bow. Hopefully I can get a, uh, you know, a, uh, a poor wooden bow instead of a faulty wooden bow. I don't know, but I lost my... What is that, an elk? Or just a buck? I'm not sure. Hi, lady. If my bow wasn't in my way, you'd be dead already. I hope they fix that glitch. That's a really annoying glitch. Where as you're aiming, the bow gets in front of your vision. That is really annoying. Alright. Ooh, that plane flying by in real life that you guys don't hear reminds me. Day 7 is plane day. Let's see if I can get you. Don't. 
Uh, damn it. Dude, how did I miss that? It's right freaking there. Uh. Oh, there's another one right there, too. Come on, come on, where are you? Oh, hold still for just a second. I'm trying to hunt, so I'm actually concentrating and being quiet at that. Damn it. This is surprisingly hard. Like, the deer doesn't want to stay still. Alright, can I do a heart shot? No, apparently I can't. Holy shit, I hit it, finally! That was too high. That was right on. And now I'm in the area where he doesn't move after I hit him. Because it's actually a range that these things won't move if you hit them. Zombies do it too. It's a little weird. Whee. I just need food. You know, I'm out low, running low on food. There we go. Let's grab some deer meat on me. Or some venison. Yeah. Whew. Paying way too much attention to the game and not enough attention to actually recording. Alright. So, anyway. So, it's plain day. And it's noon. So, the plane should be coming around any minute. Is it noon? I think it's noon. I'm fairly sure it's today. There it is. Alright, where do you drop it? Oh, you drop it down in the valley. Oh, I... Ow. <laughs> oh, that was... I eh, should have expected that. Mm. Anyways, all right. So, uh, yes, because plane day starts on the 4th, and it happens every three days, uh, it ends up the plane day being day 7 as well, which is a weird number. I, I don't know if... Yeah, like I said, I don't know if this is intentional or if it's a glitch... That plane day starts on the fourth day instead of the uh, third day. But whatever. Just something to keep in mind. I gotta worry about the bears. Oh, you couldn't have dropped that thing any closer to, say, the village. Or, you know, any other form of, you know, signs of life and civilization. No, you had to drop that way the crap over here. Oy. Bunny. Uh, wow. You suck, plane pilot. I was about to say plane driver. Don't know why. All right, so keep walking in this direction. Lost the orange smoke. <sighs> nope, it's right there. So it's just on the other side of this hill. Or it's on the top of the hill, not sure. Oh, it's not just on... It's always one more dune. You said that two dunes ago. Where did I get that from? Some movie. Alright, we're here. Finally, and I don't see anything else. Never been over here before. <laughs> Bloop, and I got... SMG stock... SMG receiver, and a lot of medication. Cool. Useful. I think I hear a dog. That is something that happens a lot as you do the seven-day things. Yeah, let's go home. <laughs> Wait, 
I don't hear a dog. What the shit do I hear? It's my walking. It's like this scraping noise that I'm hearing. What the hell? It's like I'm scraping my legs together as I walk. I'm, I'm wearing denim jeans. Weird freaking game. All right, so that was plain day. We got a little bit of stuff. Could really use a crossbow. That would be nice. Hello, lady zombie. Oh, now you turn around. Oh, right, I smell, don't I? And she's serpentine. Did they program that into the game, or was that just coincidence? She's serpentining. Hmm. Yay, more zombies. All right, let's just get the hell home so we get this stuff out of our inventory. Because we got to do this and we got to get moving before nightfall. I have a plan. I hope it works. I guess I'll find out. It's a dangerous plan. Potentially an incredibly stupid plan. But a plan nonetheless. These zombies are in my way, so I have to kill them. What was that vibration? Oh, I bet you my hard drive spun up again. Yeah, that was my hard drive spinning up. All right. And yeah, I thought so. All right, so uh, I've told you guys I use Windows 10. Oh, damn it. This fucking bow. Ugh. Maybe I should make another one. So I have like two of them. So I'm carrying two of them. For when one fails. Or maybe I should actually just start paying attention to the, you know, degradation of the bow. That might be smart. Hmm. Who would have thunk? Paying attention in this game, being wise. Who would have thought of that? All right. Uh, so what was I saying? Oh, yes. Um, so I, I've told you guys I use Windows 10. Windows 10, like Windows 8 and Windows 7 before it, has the option to automatically switch your wallpaper for you. Something I never really used in Windows 7. Vista might have had it. Don't remember. Never really used Vista. Um, should probably fix that hole in the wall at some point. All right, it gets our venison. Yeah, I've tried to grill bear. Grill bear, fullness 20. That's that's an impressive thing. Those, hmm, those things, yeah, those are, they do a pretty good job. All right, so yeah, that's my medicine cabinet. Anything else medicine-wise? That's bottled water. All right, bottled water in there. Food. Fat. Anything else? Dog food. That makes you sick, right? Hydration 2. Gassiness, negative 15. Okie dokie. Moving along. That's 74. I'll have to do that later. Tomorrow, not today. I'm not going to do that today. For reasons that I will get to soon. Wait, didn't I put all my weapons in there? For my weapon parts anyways? Weren't they all in here? No, I have a dedicated chest for weapon parts. It's over here. There we are. Yeah. Eventually I'll be making weapons once I find the you know all the stuff I need to make them. Uh no, I'm gonna keep them on me. Lumps of coal. Scrap lead. Come here, come here. There we go. Bullet casing. Look, I found bullets. I found seven 62 millimeter bullets and 10 millimeter bullets. Too bad I need nine millimeter bullets. Ooh. What? Where did these come from? Yeah, where did I get this? I don't know. I'm going to have to check the video and see where the hell I got that iron club from. I don't know. All right. Oh, I should probably fix my bow. All right. 
right, so 1,500 hours. Almost time to enact my plan. What else do I need? What else do I need? How do you... You repair via... Nothing, it seems. Hmm. Uh, what else do I need? What else do I need? I'm trying to think quickly while I'm, before I head out and do my thing. I don't need to do this right now, but uh, I'm doing it right now. In fact, I really probably should be doing this right now. All right, everything's prepared. It's 1,600 hours. So let us go forth and enact my plan. Now, my plan involves stripping buck naked, dumping all of my stuff in there, except for a few select things. A uh, bottle of water. Beer. Now let's grab one beer because that'll be helpful later. Uh, I would like to take food. Take that, but this gives me gas. I don't like that. That gives me gas. I don't like that. And these stink. If I had bacon and eggs, but I ate my bacon and eggs. Crap. Hmm. But what I should do get uh, all filled up before I head out. I have enough food to slowly heal. Uh, let's get my golden rum tea. Yay! Stamina cap increase. That is probably not going to last. Probably not going to last the night. And let's grab that low-end iron reinforced club. And I am ready. All right, it's 1,700 hours. And I'm going to pick a direction and get the fuck out of here. So, as I mentioned before, everything is based on heat. Where the hordes go to, it's based on heat. And the Seventh-day Horde, as I said, seems to have a uh, extra sense of than they normally do. So they can sense you from further away than they normally do. So my idea is to work with that. So, you know, if they do spawn near the house, they'll just pass by the house because they'll just run, run by the house. Nothing will be there. Assuming that the chunks are even loaded. I don't know how that works. I would assume some chunks are unloaded, but yeah, I don't know how that works. Um, so, in theory, if the chunks stay loaded, the zombies will just pass by the house. They won't go into it, they won't bother it. If anything, I might just have to clean up a little bit after them tomorrow. Nothing major. So, while that's happening, I will be way far away. Many, many chunks over. So that when the horde does come for me, and it will, it will be way the crap away from, you know, everything important. It's the idea anyways. I don't know if it'll work. I have no idea what that noise was, and I don't even know if it was in the game or if it was in reality. This is the first time I'm playing... With the windows open. It's too cool outside to justify having the AC on. So I have the windows open. And uh, I'm kind of forced to have the windows open in that... Re in Well, when I don't have the AC on. Because I'm running a Core i7 processor and two GTX 980s. It gets kind of toasty in here. Especially in the evenings. I have no idea why. But it always seems to get hotter in the evenings. I don't know, maybe it's because I'm just using the PC, you know, watching YouTube videos, watching Breaking Bad. 
which I, I don't see what's ab- so absolutely amazing about that show. Everybody's like, oh, it's an amazing show. It's a great show. You should watch that show. You know, I'm halfway through season two. I don't see what's so great about it. I really, really don't. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I did kind of go into the show expecting a uh, chemistry-based MacGyver kind of series. And I think that would be kind of interesting. Uh, in fact, I did think it would would be kind of interesting because that's why I started watching the show. I actually watched it, started watching it because of Mythbusters. Uh, them doing the myths. And uh, which actually kind of partially destroyed season one for me because I'm watching that scene going, you know, Mythbusters tested it. That's not physically possible. This guy's supposed to be good at chemistry. I know, it's a TV show. It's not supposed to be 100% accurate. Uh, but I don't know. I can't help but think that. All right, so 1,800 hours. Still going to avoid zombies as best I can. But let's see if we can get into a good area so that we can see all around, and I mean all around, and see if we can track down where the first horde is going to come from. Because what's going to happen, and I've seen this happen before, is the first horde will appear. You know, it'll come over a hill or something like that. It'll come out of the distance. It'll appear. And it'll be coming straight for you. I mean, completely, totally straight for you. But it's not hunting you. Not yet, anyways. So you can get out of its way. And if you can get out of its way, you could survive the night fairly easily. But you have to get out of its way first. So there is that. That's going to be the hard part because you have to be able to see it coming. And there aren't any really good places to see them coming from far enough away. I see the end of the world here. Oh, it's a cliff. I thought it was a chunk loading error. No. No. It's a massive, massive cliff. Wow. Wow. It's like an ultra flat down there. Shit. Hmm. Let's explore this a little bit. This is this is interesting. Wee. Oh. Wait. Did we come from here? Hang on. No, we've never explored this area. It just really, really, really looks like... Yeah, that was... It really looks like that city that we first saw. Because, like, I... You know, started building a pillar over there. <laughs> uh, let's see if we can get down without killing ourselves. This is a hell of a road here, people. I wonder how many cars could actually get down this road. Let's see, 1941... We're getting pretty close. There's a garage. It's a born and noble. I don't see many zombies, but I don't think I'm within sight of them yet. I don't have any projectile weapons, so I have to be very, very careful. Probably shouldn't be doing this right now, but, you know, if it works. Especially if I can get into that born and noble. Though it is pretty late. Alright, just guy over there. See if this draws his attention. No. Alright. Can't see crap in here. I don't have my flashlight. Shoot. <laughs> Ran the hell away quick from that one. Ah, she was actually inside. All right. Ooh, let's see what's in these cars. Maybe I can get an engine. Okay, I haven't been in this area before. That car was searched, though. Ah, damn it. I don't like how they changed the zombies. Their reach is ridiculous. Ooh, oil barrels. Useful later. I'm gathering up stuff with the hopes that I'll actually survive the night 
I don't think I will, but with the hopes I'll survive the night. I need that. That's for the mini bike. All right, let's get out into the desert because I should be able to see them coming if I'm in a flat area like this. I hope this works. I really hope this works now because, you know, I have all this stuff. And I have the headlight. That's one more. That's one step closer to having my mini bike. You know, that is the point of this game or point of this series is to get me a mini bike. You know, I don't think I've seen anybody have one. But then again, thinking about it, I haven't seen that many people actually be playing this game dedicated. You know, I only have uh, there's only one series that I watch that is seven days to die. And that's uh, that's uh, the mind crackers doing their, uh, you know, uh, four versus three or whatever it is, you know, PVP thing. Yeah, that's that's all I watch, so. Alright, 2100 hours. We got a little bit of time. Because the mob pretty much instantly comes at 2200. It's like, 2200, mob spawns. Might be just out of your view, but believe me, it spawns. And there it is. The blood moon rises. What button is this? Six, F7, F7, F7 makes the HUD go away, but it doesn't make, yeah, your hands go away, crap, but yes, the blood moon rises over the hill, 2117, the calm before the storm. There is no noise, no zombies. Oh, there's some zombies. All right. Wasting some time till I have to start running. So what the cut or what the beer's for? Ooh, there's a bag over there. What is in you? Huh, tank top. What is your damage? Entity damage, 6.65. Entity damage, 10.44. Yeah. 49. Whew. This is a little, uh... Mm. I should be able to see the horde coming from here. One would hope anyways. There a, there's a tent over there. Did I see a house? All right. You heard them scream. It's pretty freaking instantaneous. All right, there they are. All right, so we run perpendicular, unlike, you know, horror movies. We run perpendicular from the mob, from the horde. And hopefully they run straight past us. Hopefully. If not, I'm going to have to start running. Where, where, oh, where, oh, where was that horde? I think it's behind that hill over there. I might have gotten a little, um, turned around. Uh, hopefully YouTube will allow us to see this. You know, with their strange-ass encoding. The first night, I'm going to have to actually spend outside. But this is actually a pretty good way to stay away from zombies. Or at least to keep zombies from destroying your house during the seventh day. Because if they do catch me, well, I die. I don't respawn on my bed. I respawn near my bed. I hear zombies. Or I hear running water. I'm not sure. Oh, 
That grass scared the hell out of me. <laughs> All right, nice and easy, nice and easy. Oh, there's a uh, thing up there, or one of those uh, stone archway things. For the record, you can't hide from the zombies up there. I, I tried. Uh, they just kind of walk up the side and attack you. But I think we missed the first horde. Which is cool. So far, so good. I don't hear anything. I'm going to see if I can actually get up onto the stone arch because that'll be a really good place to keep a lookout for things. I may not be able to. This looks fairly steep. Come on, a little bit more. Yay! All right, so. What is that light over there? Is that to the west? Yeah, that's to the west. I think it's on the skybox, but that is a really, really, really bright star. Um, and I saw it in the last world, too, which I guess makes me think that it is part of the skybox, considering I had walked to the west a really, really long way and hadn't seen anything. I have no idea where this smoke keeps coming from. It's always there, and it's always iridescent, I think is the correct term. It's glowing. Where's the moon? There's the moon. You're still rising. Crap. All right, so I guess I will just chill here for a little while. And hopefully nothing comes to say hello. All right, it's 3 a.m. Sunrise is less than an hour away. We have one zombie female over there walking in circles, walking into cacti. And then we have two zombies over there that are walking in circles, but they seem to pretty much be going away. Sunrise is less than an hour away. I'm going to qual qualify myself as beating the seven day seventh night i should say and it is the eighth day so i will see you guys in the next episode and as always keep playing the game and be very very quiet